<clears throat> all right how's it going everyone hope you're all doing well uh it's it's been a while but i finally managed to get this working properly so uh which is good i can finally stream the steam deck from the steam deck uh you know properly which is good because <clears throat> I'm playing catch up with Dragon Quest 11 uh and I am I just got Jaden Rab so I'm like halfway uh with the first act I believe I don't remember how the acts were split up but I th think I'm there we're about to head over to the uh <clears throat> where the mermaids are so which is good I'm, I'm also starting to remember uh what's happening in the plot uh which is good because i do want to finish the post game stuff uh i was going to finish on the switch but this works i'm catching up at a fairly good pace so i'll just finish it on there uh but today I'm going to be streaming the Outbound Ghost. This game just came out a couple days ago. <clears throat> it's Paper, Mar Paper Mario with Ghost. Uh, and I played, uh, I didn't play the demo because I didn't know there was a demo until like, I think a month or so ago. I found out this game was coming out. I saw a trailer. <clears throat> it interested me. It got me. And the more I saw this, like, more excited I got uh, so I'm looking forward to streaming this game uh, it's got difficulty settings which is pretty awesome uh, hard spectral multiplier you know you damage setting uh, <clears throat> it's very customizable uh, I'm looking forward to that <clears throat> not sure what this one is uh, spawn apparitions. I, I'm not entirely sure. I just left it like that. Uh, I'll leave it. Like, Cause I was messing around with it. I played a good 30 minutes of it. I was enjoy. I was having fun. Uh, I'll leave it like this. Default settings, but I will put it at hard. Uh, and then depending on how how it gets, maybe I'll <clears throat> increase the multiplier just a smidge. Uh, to cut down on grinding. I'm gonna leave everything else uh, the same. Uh, graphics. Uh, I don't know. I just leave it like this as is. So I'm definitely looking forward to playing this. I might. I'm gonna increase the. <clears throat> Sorry. Uh, the volume on this, I think that that'll be good. <clears throat> if anything, just let me know, and I'll I'll tweak the volume, the audio a bit. But I'm looking forward to it. Just a smidge more. There we go. Because the music has been good as well from <clears throat> the the amount I've been playing. Okay. Idle screen, everything's good. Yeah, about half an hour. I'm gonna overwrite this. All right, also got special settings, which is, which is very neat right off the bat. Randomization, start with that. all figments, prevent obtaining figments, so, you know, hard, you know, challenge mode. This is nice, this is cool. <clears throat> I'm gonna start. Like I said, this is a very approachable RPG game. Outbound was always kind of a nice place to live. The folks there kept themselves to themselves. An argument here and there, sure. That was until they all started to get sick. That cursed swamp poisoned our water and Outbound was nearly wiped off the map because of it. Then, there were only a handful left. 
some who needed help crossing over. And somebody was going to do it for them. All right. <clears throat> cool. I mean, you know, not cool. <laughs> Car crashes on fire. But besides that, cool. <clears throat> I didn't really have a chance to ex I didn't really take the chance to explore a lot. I was like, oh, I'm just mess around. Uh, see what we can, what we're working with. But now I'm exploring whatever I can. Or the audio from my headset. I like that we get this little dash. It's nice. Okay, so let's see. <clears throat> uh, I don't have the lock picks. So we'll start our first encounter. This is pretty sweet. I like how the mechanic is. Oh no, an apparition. Huh, you can see me. Wow, finally, after all these years. Well, let me teach you how to deal with this meaning. Don't worry, you won't have to jump into the fray yourself. I'll handle everything with my breathtaking skill. First, you'll have to learn how to tell me what to do. Is that a bit for me? Uh, click on attack to make me pound that good for nothing. Perfect, now select the pipsqueak. You're a natural, kiddo, and here comes the hard part. You've got to time the attack. I know. Revolutionary. Try to press the button when the pointer is at the center of the bar. Got it? Cool. Now give it a try. That was amazing. Now, that deadbeat's gonna attack us. Unfortunately, we can't do anything right now, so we'll have to take the hit. Ow, that hurts. Well, now's a good time to teach you about Aether Up. We can use this command to take half damage from all hits. On top of that, the user gets an AP, which stands for Aether Points. We get one of these every turn by default, but you can get extra like this. What do AP do? Well, they allow us to attack. For example, if you have two AP, you can attack two times in one turn. Try to use Aether Up to take less damage and store AP. It's like the brave default. Uh, well, it's like the default. Man, which is nice. I like this. See, that only hurt half as much. <clears throat> What's great is that now we have two AP. Try to use one of our AP to attack the nuisance. Amazing, what a genius. You're a very fast learner, so I'm sure you've noticed this, but whenever you attack an apparition, not only does their HP go down, their stun also increases. Yeah, the little, little yellow bar down there. Stun is shown in the yellow bar and under the HP bar, and it replenishes every turn by a bit. If you manage to fill it up, though, the apparition will become stunned and be unable to move for two turns. On top of that, your attacks will deal double damage. The more damage you deal an apparition, the more their stun gauge will increase. So, use a skill to make sure you stun the squirt. Awesome, let's hit that squirt. Uh, careful though, the skills, this skills timing is tricky. It, <clears throat> and it really is. It's uh, pretty, pretty fast. Uh, now that the beat is stunned, they're open to major damage. Well, you gotta know, so I'll leave you for now. If you want to check some of this information again, open the help sub menu once this battle is over. 
Good luck. Oops. Oh, can't go back. Once you commit to an attack, you commit to an attack. Let me try this skill again. Oops. Too fast. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Hey, there's our lockpick. Nice. Yeah, so <clears throat> our ghost buddy doesn't really do the fights. He's just commanding. Which is pretty neat. Got another lockpick. Nice. Which means we can open that door. Okay. That down. Presto. Okay. Uh, I want to get that. Take that apple. Yeah, I haven't gone here, so I don't know what this is. Gray gem. Okay, cool. There wasn't anything there, right? No, okay. Yeah, I did, like I said, I didn't really explore too much because I was just messing around. I was like, I don't know if I want to play this like on my own or stream this. And I figured, ah, why not stream it? This this looks this this is this is this looks like a fun game. I'll never get used to this. <sighs> yep. Whoa, what's that? It looks like a freak of nature. Hey, Michael, don't be so mean. Just a passerby. Ghosts may look scary, but you are one too now. This is different. We've never seen this one around before. This is extremely sketchy. Wait a second. That's it. This must be the killer. Michael. Don't Michael me. You gotta hatch a plan. The serial killer is not going to catch itself. Let's go. Uh. Hey, I don't know who you are, but I'm so sorry. That was Michael, my brother. Let's just say he hasn't been han handling the whole death thing too well. He's been obsessed with trying to find a serial killer. Specifically, it's the one who killed our whole village. And as you can see, uh, yeah, he's still working on it. Hopefully, I'll soon be able to talk some sense into him. Anyway, it was nice meeting you. See ya. Yeah, I, uh... <laughs> I thought Michael was pretty funny. It's gotta be him. I've never seen him before. He has to be the killer. Like, I don't think that's how it works, bud. <clears throat> but he's so determined to find the killer. Or catch the killer. Uh, yeah, we got info, which is pretty neat. That's our stuff. That's his stuff. We got minor defense down. Applies minor def minor dis defense to the target for five turns. Yeah. We're gonna smack him. Smack him a bit. It's like I haven't gone very far in the game, Duh. but uh, I wonder if you can like defend or or anything like that. If not, I mean it's no big deal. That's why we have those skills. But 
Uh, we'll see. There's also times when you do uh, like a first strike. Uh, yeah, there we go. Your turn advantage allows you to, you know, that. We get turn advantages, which is pretty neat, but I'm going to Aether up. And like our health and <clears throat> SP recover each each battle, which is pretty nice. If we can do it twice, nice, and he's gone. The A throw up again. Now take our turn, uh, take our time, or no rush, because we got, oops, I'll just say, we got the timing down, but we're out of SP. Alright, level 5, magic strikes. Now that move is pretty darn good if you get the timing right. Which we'll see if I do. My previous life was all hustle and bustle. Dying was the blessing in disguise I needed. <laughs> oh, if that's not a mood, I don't know what is. Oh man, living was was such a chore. Now that I'm dead, I can relax. It's just what I needed. Oops. There we go. Yeah, you get the timing down. It's it's really good. We'll try it again on uh, this guy. That's fine. <clears throat> okay. We just got a timed swift hit. Shit. <laughs> and we're good. <laughs> it just had one job. Uh, let's see. Okay, it's all a bunch of knowledge we're gonna escape we're gonna run away we almost died there <clears throat> i should have aethered up and then do the minor strikes Or lockpicks in an apple. Yeah, we're gonna need a lot of lockpicks for this <laughs> this next door. Okay, I've learned from my prior mistake. Yeah, if I had ethered up, we would have died anyways. Okay, this is right to left. Gonna swift hit ya. I remembered the timing for that. That one is just the first one is a little little off for me. <clears throat> Whoa! There aren't usually many new people around here. We've arrived at the perfect time. See that campfire? We 
been sending these up all over to help weary travelers, and they're quite the hit. You can use them to collect your thoughts. Or some people call it saving. They can call it that too if you want. Oh, also. See this anvil? You can use it to make some pretty awesome stuff. For some travelers to forge emotional trinkets to help them to keep them sane. It's not always easy to keep your head in the game, especially since we're now dead. Oh well, I guess that's how things are now, huh? Well, it was nice talking to you, but I gotta get to work. Before I go, let me give you this. This though. First of this is an aspect gem. You'll need it to forge basically anything. I'm also giving you a recipe book so that you can follow it to make stuff. Anyways, these campfires aren't going to set themselves up. Hope you make good use of the saving and forging. Yeah, so first we're going to uh, pick these up. Strange book that allows you to forge aspects that affect the timing gauge. So if anti-meter skips the meter prompt on relevant skills before it goes the benefits of good timing. Missing the timing on attacks lower in results in lower damage rather than a miss, so that's nice. User now misses if they don't get perfect timings in the timing gauge, but power is increased by 25%. So this is where you gotta be confident in your perfect timings. Strange book that allows you to forge powerful aspects with drawbacks. Basic attacks deal 25% more damage, but all other skills deal 50% less damage. Uh, skills deal 10% more damage, but basic attacks deal 50% less damage, so the reverse. It increases power and SP by 10%, but decreases HP by 10%. So, I would do that if I feel confident in my, you know, HP pool. Uh, let's see. We'll go with risk and reward. And let's open up this uh here. I don't know why we needed three. We don't even move the top one, but that's fine. You never know, right? Okay, we can craft power up, defense up, healing up. Uh, reconstruction. Oh, that would actually be pretty neat. It's one HP and SP, but something. Uh, and then nothing else. So I'm going to actually forge reconstruction. I don't need a great gem for anything else. Bam. Let's see. I got two more of these aspect gems. So I'll forge a power up. Okay. Nice. Bam. All right, we're in. Let's go. Feel a little more confident. Actually, let me go back. You know, explore what's up here or down here. There's this forest map. Ah, it's a map. Okay. We use fast travel. That's neat. I didn't pick that up. That's good to know. I probably could have fast traveled too. Does it let me fast travel there? Where does this take me? By the car. This should take me to the save point. Oh no. Right here. Okay. Yeah, that's not that bad. That would take me to the save point. Okay. 
What we got here? Magical Apparition. Lesser Heal, Magic Blast. Medium damage target, small amount of HP. Alright. I'm gonna Aether up. Alright. Uh, minor defense. Try swift hit. And then magic strikes. Oh, it almost almost stunned. I didn't mess up those uh perfect timings. Okay, we're good. <laughs> Just stun him right right here right now. Poison poke. And we got a flower. Nice. We can use that to forge something. I don't know what, but we'll find out eventually. Ooh, there's something there. Wanna pick it up? Two apples and a pink gem. Now we're cooking. Okay, let me climb up here. The lock pick. Nice. I like the lock picks are. I have a pitchfork as as you know. Hey, it's a lock pick. You're the icon for for a lockpick. Fungal Apparition. Minor Poison. 101 HP. We're good. Ah, oh, gross. So is that six turns of poison? <laughs> oh, that's that's double damage. Poison stacks. <laughs> oh no. Oh no, we gotta. We gotta get out of here. <laughs> I don't want to die. I steal vial. Okay, we can't even heal with items. Oof, that's rough. I gotta be a little more attentive. Like, I'm pretty sure it's... You take three damage with the poison, and since I had... Two stacked up, that was... Six total. I hope I'm wrong. <laughs> but I'm probably not. Deals basic damage and applies minor poison. Oh. That one. Oh! Hey, Gem! And Raiders, welcome! Hope you all are doing well. Hope you had a, had a fun stream, Gem. I'm gonna try this again. Six. That really helps out with the damage output. Yeah, it did it, it, it does. Wow, it does stack up. <laughs> okay. Well, that's good to know. It's a long one. Oh, that's that's good. Hope you had had fun with it. 
Seems good. This is going very well. <clears throat> Couple of close calls. Uh, but luckily we could escape. Uh, probably not this battle, but... Uh, been pretty good. I like it. This game is very, very fun. It's adorable, too. Two magic strikes. Swift hit. Remember, if they're stunned, we do double damage. So that swift hit is strong. This is and then this is pretty much where I kind of stop playing on my own so I don't know what else I don't know what's gonna happen next it's the killer I have to capture them soon before they escape my grasp come on Michael leave the poor ghost alone I can't this is my only way to ascend I catch this crook, I'll finally be able to eliminate my burden. I may be dead, but I can still prove that I am worthy of being a detective. It's best not gonna get in the way of that. And well, I have to ascend to the afterlife too. I will prove myself and ascend. Hey, I'm so sorry, again. As you can see, Michael really wants to prove himself. He's been an aspiring detective ever since he's he's been young. Now that he's dead, he can't really become one for real. I guess all he can do is prove himself and eliminate his burden. And he'll be able to ascend and hope for reincarnation. Arf arf. Ah, so sorry. I rambled for longer than I intended. I better go check up on Michael. We meet again, I hope he'll have softened up a bit. Anyways, see ya. You unlocked a new figment. After feeling Mary's kindness, you've unlocked a new figment of self camaraderie. Use it to your advantage throughout replenish. Uh, use it to your advantage through replenishing your other figment's health. Now we can heal. Uh, strange figment allows you to forge aspects that affect stun damage. Increases the user's power by 50%, but prevents them from dealing stun damage. Allows you, the user to use a skill that deals great stun damage. Increases the user's stun damage by 25%, but lowers their HP by 50%. We want to get that stun meter filled. ASAP. Allows the user to use a skill that heals. Allows the user to use a skill that revives allies. So this is pretty nice, but we don't have any respite, so I can't do that one. But I can do Lesser Hill. Lesser Heal. And here I can only make the nail clip. I'm gonna go with healing skills. Cool. Now let me check out Camaraderie. Who has lesser heal, minor power, lesser revive, SP defense leverage. Uh, what's this one do? Gets SP equal to 20% of the target's defense. That's nice. I don't know if they share reconstruction, power up. I think they share figments. I don't know. I don't know how this works. Let me save real quick. And then test it out. <clears throat> slot. Oh, I haven't equipped them with it. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Uh, let's see. Power hungry.
37. Trying to remove it. Okay, there we go. Sorry, I'm just trying to see what the 2734. So brought me to 2137. Okay. I'll give you reconstruction while while we're at it. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. Cool. Let's make a lesser heal. Oh, I need two more. Never mind. Yeah, I'll do this one healing up. And I might as well give that to camaraderie. While we're at it. Check out the next area. Laundry switched over. Nice. We gotta do laundry soon. <laughs> well, those are starting to pile up. Maybe tomorrow. Or Sunday. Alright, so now we got two beebles, two ghosties. Yeah, take that. Teamwork. That's camaraderie. There's two ghosties. Uh, one more attack. Stunned, you fool. We're gonna buff up. Regret. And you know, just do a little overkill. Like, there we go. Like it land a perfect hit. They're in plain sight. Now's our chance. Corey, go! Arf, arf. Arf, arf. No, Cory, don't. <laughs> We've got to kill her cornered. <sighs> I'll come down the long route. Don't want to get myself hurt. Now we've got you. Do you have any idea how much you've hurt me and my town? Because of you, everyone's dreams have been crushed. Not only that, most of us will never see our loved ones either. Are you happy with yourself after knowing that? <laughs> of course you would deny your crime. At least try to lie. I don't know what's going on isn't going to hold up in court. Well, I've caught you red-handed. You've got nowhere to go. Now, Owl. Wait, Michael. You don't even know if they're the killer for sure. We know everyone in this whole area. Nobody could have done something as horrible as what happened has to be an outsider. It just so happened that we found one. It wasn't even that many days after our deaths. Coincidence? I think not. Do we even know if this ghost has ever been an outbound before? For all we know, this could be their first time wandering from another town. Oh yeah? Well, why don't we ask them? So, have you ever been an outbound? Wait, when you say I really don't know what's going on, what do you mean? You've got amnesia? Oh, 
that's just like... I mean, you can't trust a potential criminal's word. It all checks out, though. The aimless wandering, the lost look on their face, it all fits. I still don't buy it. We've got to be iron-fisted. Better safe than sorry. How about we at least get Adrian's opinion? He's got amnesia too, and he lives not too far from here. He's an outbounder, so his judgment can be trusted, right? <sighs> okay, let's do that. Perfect. Let's go to Adrian's house then. Ah, oh, she's so happy. Oh, by the way, you know who we are, but what's your name? Uh, sure, we'll go with Sapphire. Sapphire, huh? It's a nice name. Thanks, I had it picked out for me. <laughs> Anyways, we should go. We should follow the lanterns past here, and we'll get there in no time. The house is atop a nice cliff with the view of the sun. You can't miss it. Cool, but the reason I came here was because there was like a chest or something here. Ray gem and the lockpick. Alright, Aether up. <laughs> We're gonna uh, build up our AP. Uh, do a swift hit on the apparitions. I'll just smack you. That's right. Waste your, waste your turns. And even more power. I know this is going to stack. Ooh, perfect 20. <laughs> um, do a little quick heal. Oh! I didn't think you had to time that. <laughs> Thank you for the sub, scrub. I appreciate it. Yeah, it looks, it looks great. I mean, I was able to finally get it working. I got an HDMI adapter to uh, force the capture card to capture the Steam Deck with uh, in uh, 1920 by 1280 uh, for in terms of resolution. Because before it would blow it up like 32 something and like it makes it super super laggy so I was reading up on it I was like you know what 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 do I have to lose right and it works it's perfect I can properly stream uh, games on my Steam Deck. Oh, uh, we leveled up. I didn't see what we got, but it's okay. We'll take a look at the figments. Uh, I didn't learn anything. Minor SP share. Give seven SP to the target. Oh, that'll be good. Surprise! Hmm. Okay, it weakened them for a turn.
Uh, not really. We're just killing everything in sight. I mean, we're not not grinding up some levels. Huh. You fool, you're stunned, which means Swift Hit will deal 36 damage. Easy, Pete's. Oh, follow the lamppost, right? Okay. Well, let's go to the other side. There's still some stuff I didn't uh, check out. But asleep. Uh, all right, no worries. Scrub, it's all right. I was like... Wasn't sure if I was going to stream anyway because I was feeling a little sleepy on my way back from work, but I'm a little more awake now. But thanks for hanging out. Thanks for the sub. Appreciate it, Scrub. And uh, we'll see you next time. Gila opens an unknown gate. It looks like it'll, it fits in a farm, whatever that means. I'm not sure what that means, but we'll find out. Eventually, probably. Okay, I came from here, so... Ah, surprise! The only thing so far that I will say is like, the loading from... The loading time for a battle is... Is a, is a smidge long? But I'm sure... <clears throat> in a future patch, it'll... They'll speed it up or something. But I don't mind it. I, I've i played Chrono Trigger on the PlayStation. I've suffered through load times. This isn't that bad. Heck, I've played through Sonic 06. Multiple times. For whatever reason. This ain't bad. Now, this magical apparition healing, the sneaky apparition, that's no good. He needs a swift hit. A face. And a smack. And some magical strikes. And slap in the face. Oh, there's a respite. We learned minor power and minor replenish. What's that second one do? Applies minor repl replenish to the target for three turns. Cool. What does that mean, though? Two pink gems and a smoke bomb. Alright. Hey, the pink gems are worth. We can make some more items with them. Or figments. Wait, those aren't called figments. What are they called? Uh, aspects. I can make more aspects with those. Oh, I was like, where did they go? Where are they going? Why are they leaving me? What did I do? But yeah, everything... We went from this forest... Now we're like... By a beach. 
the uh, environment switch very quickly. <laughs> I ain't complaining. What are these things? Armored apparitions. They know body slam. Does very high damage to the target. They only have 16 HP, but their defense is off the charts. So what do we do? See what this does. It's probably like a regen effect. Jeez. That was a lot of damage. Oh, the defense is for the stun. I see. <laughs> it was poison. Okay, yeah, it is a regen. Okay. Okay, it still does two damage. Okay, that's also what the defense is. Sometimes the audio cuts off, but that's not the game. That's just the, I think the dock in general, but it's not that bad. <laughs> Gotta do one more perfect. things are tanky and they hit very hard the gray gems lifesteal vial brutish apparition minor defense Increase your defense like a miner. Applies minor defense to the target for 99 turns. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna give you a little smack. Yeah, there's not much camaraderie can do. Camaraderie is more of a support class. Regret is the uh, the hard hitter. Two smoke bombs. Nice. I didn't even think there was something there. I just figured, you know, it's a waterfall. Maybe we can go behind it. Or, and we could. There was an item there. All right, let's move on. <laughs> ah, nature. And we're off. Oh, whoa, 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 what was that? Something popped up. Now let's see. Let's poison him. We'll buff regrets. Smack this miner in the 
face. Ooh, since they didn't attack, they didn't take any poison damage. That's no good. Keep missing, missing the perfect times by this much. There we go. He was buffing himself too. Oh, okay, it was just the miner that caught up. See what's in what's in here. Apple. Ooh. Aspect gems. Nice. Look at this. Secrets everywhere. there was something over there but there's no way for us to get in there uh, let's go here hey buoy what's up how you doing how's it going sneak up on you wham I think we did it <laughs> we'll know if we get a uh, if it tells us yeah we did Level 12? Why are you so high? He gets the body slam too. Kinda poison you. Yeah, the uh, I got an HDMI adapter, so now the capture card for the Steam Deck dock works perfectly. It was the capture that was the uh, Elgato that was having issues with it. Gonna buff ya. <laughs> Shit. It's like half my health. <laughs> oh, fuck, you get two turns. also getting a steam deck have you gotten your email yet probably not because you just ordered it a while ago right although you should be getting it this year they have been ramping up on production I don't think we'll be able to... Dirty Mill just came out today, and when it did, I instantly made my first... Oh, nice, Bowie! So you, you should get it within... Uh, within two weeks. It took me a week... for mine. So it should take you probably a week. Uh, what's today? Friday? You might get it next week or the week after, just because, you know, it's end of the week. Uh, you know, the whole business days don't... Sometimes, some weekends don't count for business days, like Sunday. Oh. So, yeah, nice.
Oh, I don't know if I should run away or fight, because this thing hits hard. So I'm gonna run away. Uh, I will I will let you know what uh what an HDMI adapter I got, Bowie, so you can also get that. Uh that we have it before you that though we have it so when you try to stream your steam from your steam deck you know it won't you know you won't have issues yeah i love i'm also going to get a uh usb c adapter not adapter extension cord so i can play use the steam deck as a controller because there are some games i want to use the, the the steam deck as a controller just because of the the four extra buttons in the back It's 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 so nice having extra buttons. Uh, what is this? Strange book that allows you to forge vampiric aspects. Ooh, drain, drain attacks. Basic attacks heal twenty percent of damage dealt. Uh, I can make those. Reduces HP by thirty percent and power by ten percent, but basic attack life steals thirty five percent of damage dealt. I'll take this one. I don't want to lower my axe, but let me look at this one. Strange book that allows you to forge aspects that allow users to use skills from the depths of their memories. Meteor. Allows the user to use a hard-hitting skill. Uh, minor healing down. Reduces this target's healing capabilities. Minor power down. Reduces target's power. I mean, it's pricey, but it's worth it if it means I don't have to play Steam games. Yes! Well, I don't mind playing some Steam games on my PC, but for streaming, yeah, I, I like having the the Steam Deck is is a nice alternative. Especially because I don't want to overheat my laptop. I'll do Crimson Text. Plus, with some Steam games, if it's not the uh, the selected window. It just stops. Like, it doesn't play nothing. It just stops. I don't like that. I think, you know, playing a game and stream at the same time. String is choppy as fuck. Yeah, it, it happens. Um, I'll, I'll I'll do a test recording. The goal let's see if I can, if my laptop can handle it. It can up to a certain point, and it's like I'd rather it not get choppy, especially if I'm gonna be streaming it for like at least four hours. And it's like I'll just hold off on that, or you know, if it's available somewhere else, I'll stream it on that. Because I want to stream Borderlands too, which I can. I have I have it on PS4. But I want to stream the, the PC one, <laughs> and now I can. And I can stream the the pixel rematch. That's like one of the big ones. Because they're they're modded. So what? Why you have so many attacks? You have so many turns. <laughs> what the hell? Oh, that's not that's not good. Why do you have so many attacks? Yeah, heal up. Oh, that's why you're using triple strike. I didn't see what you did. Like, it wasn't so much of a, you're cheating, it's more of like, what the hell are you doing? <laughs> what did you do to get, like, multiple hits on me? Why you pay attention? Uh, let me go back, actually. I, I think I missed the anvil. Anvil. 
And, you know, I missed the save point, too. Uh... What am I gonna make? Not you, not Crimson Pact. And basic life steal. Lots to revive. Can make one of those. I have three aspect gems. Let me hold off on that. I can make another reconstruction one. Healing up. Yeah, let me make that. Lesser revive. Well, you'll get basic life steal. Lesser revive. Oh, perfect. If I had a third party member, maybe, yeah, I feel a little more comfortable. I am playing this on hard, so if I need to, I can just increase the amount of experience. So, you know, let's less grindy okay I too have my multi-hit moves yeah triple strike yeah I should have Used info. I'm gonna just smack you. On here's the stun. And the kill. Smack. I like poison poke because of how long it stays in the center. <laughs> it's for a good amount of time. We only get one HP back. Well, that's fine. Probably later on we can maybe get more than one. Maybe two HP. Oh, that's a dream. Two HP off a basic attack. Damn apple, apple. Look at that. That's a pretty game. Very pretty game. And we're here. This is Adrian's house. Pretty picturesque, eh? It's basically the best location in the general outbound area. But anyways, I think Cora should stay out here. Adrian's not too fond of dogs. <laughs> yeah, last time we talked to him, didn't go well. Didn't go too well because of that. Yeah, it seems that Adrian's amnesia has made him quite irritable. Be sure not to say anything that could get on his nerves. Anyways, let's go. Yes, you can pet the dog in Outbound Ghost. 10 out of 10.
Hey, Adrian, we're here with a visitor. Uh, Adrian, is everything okay? Hey, Adrian, we're talking to you. Ah. Are you here? We had someone we wanted you to meet. You seem really startled, though. Is everything okay? I'm not startled. No. Oh. Sorry for the temper, it's just... My brain's a mess. My amnesia isn't getting any better. I forget everything every couple of minutes. It was tough to live with vague memories of only those from before death. That's actually exactly why we're here. We met someone else like you. What? Another amnesiac? Yes, it's Sapphire. We just met them. They're back there. You're amnesiac too. Whoa. When did you become a ghost? Oh, I see. Have you forgotten anything since? I have periodic memory wipes. Do you have the same? Oh, don't. So that means... You're not like me, then. Oh, he's mad. I gotta be so stupid. Ow. Adrian, are you alright? Looks like Sapphire is getting the same thing. What happened? What happened? Oh, it's you. Glad to see you're awake. Oh, so we knocked out and they just threw our ass outside. Okay, cool. No, that's fine. <laughs> What happened? <laughs> well, after you got that headache, you fainted. Adrian had the same thing. It's strange. Almost as if you two are linked somehow. He faints, and straight after that, you do too. It smells fishy. Maybe it's an amnesiac thing. Who knows? I think we should definitely get you to talk more to Adrian, though. You two are the only ones with this condition. May not be the exact same thing, but it's pretty darn close. Probably the best bet you two have at resolving your burden. Oh gosh, you don't know what I'm talking about, do you? Wow, having amnesia must suck in this very situation. Now that it doesn't suck any other time. Basically, we're all ghosts here, right? But we're still living on Earth. The one from before we died. You could still see a human if they were near you. They'd probably be really scared though. And there aren't too many around here after the killings. Not all dead people become ghosts though. Only those with a burden or something that needs fixing. For some it may be unresolved family trauma or unrealized ambitions. Not pretty. Basically every ghost you meet in this purgatory has issues. Really puts things into perspective, huh? How do I know this? It's strange. Kind of natural, like eating or sleeping. After awakening after awaking as a ghost, I knew there was something missing. Only through filling that hole we can ascend to the afterlife. Or if we never fill it, then I guess we're here forever. It's not be easy to resolve your burden if you can't even remember it. But we'll help you out as much as we can. You can start by trying to retrieve your memories best way of doing that is going after Adrian. He went through that cave that branch is blocking its entrance. He was in such a hurry that he completely broke through them. Michael and Corey went after went chasing after him and I stayed here. Someone had to make sure you didn't die. Again. In case you forgot where that cave was, it's over there. Damn, he did a real number on that. I was like, blocked by the branch is pretty good. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's go. Locked a new figment. Having seen Adrian's cold demeanor, you've unlocked a new figment of self. Callousness. Use it to your advantage through protecting your other figments with its thick skin. Shit. 
shelter. All skills used on the target will be redirected to the user until the next turn. Adds 1 AP to the target regardless of their max AP. Allows the target to go past their AP limit next turn. Ooh, nice. next turn, huh? Alright. So I got my fighter, my white mage, and my tank. Cool. Uh, let's see. I don't have any pink gems. Reconstruction. Like, I could make another one for callousness. I don't know. Alright, well, let's move on. Gotcha. Probably. Forty-eight HP, SP steel. Basic damage to the target and replenishes SP equal to fifty percent of the damage. That's really good. Nine? These SLBs hit hard. Level ten. Magic strikes. God, their <laughs> their their stun meter does not increase that much. Let's buff up regret. Oh, never mind. It buffed up callousness. Okay, so even even our own bus, if we target whoever Callousness is protecting, how uh, it affects him too, or it affects him instead. That's not good. So that's actually a bad thing. <laughs> you don't want that. And he's pretty much out of S SP. Might as well poison him because I know he's gonna attack. Okay, we'll, we'll bring Callousness back to life. Oops. What are the odds he's gonna go after Callousness again, right? Good, it's not one of those RPG games. <laughs> oh, you just brought the dude back to life? Let me kill him.
Level 10, no one learned anything new. Zod's on RE2. I think tomorrow or Sunday, I'm gonna try setting up Resident Evil 2 and 3 with mods. It's a, it's a little more technical to do it on the Steam Deck, but I've run it's like, just do it, you can just do it on your, on your, on your PC or your laptop, and then transfer those files and slap them on the, wherever it is on the Steam Deck. That's what I'm planning on doing. Uh, poison poke on. You. Heals 14. Their healing was 7, now it's 14, it's doubled. Protect regret. Oh, great, it healed practically all of it. <laughs> How wonderful. <laughs> oh boy, oh boy. All oh, right. This shit. That's fine. Just don't heal the armored apparition. Never mind. <sighs> I gotta kill that one ASAP. Don't you dare, son of a bitch. I'm coming for you next. Yeah, just attack. I mean, that's all I can do. Okay, buff you up. Now I should be able to take out this magical apparition with regret.
I messed up anyways. I, sh I should have picked Magic Strike. Uh, we're gonna heal up callousness. SP. I think that's enough to do magic strikes it is. Nope. It's cool. I wanna I wanted to test this out anyways. Ooh. <laughs> Oh man, that's a lot of SP. Aspect gem dirt, lockpick smoke bomb. Snuff. Do I even want to snuff out the lights? Maybe. Okay, we can't light them up again. Ah, oh, we did want to snuff them out. But in doing that, we got distracted and ran ran into by an enemy. Let's power up. Let's power up again. Mag magical apparition. Hey, come on, callousness. Should have gotten those stun ones. Had I known we would have gotten someone like Callousness, I would have just forged some stun gear for him. Like, he's a tank. He's not going to be doing a lot of damage anyways. It's perfect for him. Swift hits. Oh, come on, you can stun him, callousness. Dang it. It's fine. It's dead. We did it. Minor wind cut. SP steel. Minor HP share. Ooh. How much how much HP would you share though? Fifteen. Alright. Not bad. Two percent of damage. Applies minor wind cut to the target for four turns. Okay. So it's additional damage.
Uh, what's over here? Strange Book that allows you to forge aspects that increase vigor. Increases defense by 25% but reduces AP by 1. Increases HP but by 15% but halves SP. No thank you. Reduces healing by 50% but healing skills heal the user as much as the target. Reduces power to zero, but he increases healing by 15%. Uh... I'm leaning towards Balwark, at least for... Yeah, this one, these ain't, don't seem too bad. Healing by 50%, but healing skills heal the user as much as the target. This one I don't get. This is power to zero, but increases healing by 50%. You know what? We'll get this. Why not? I can make another basic life steal. Maybe if I have two of those. 20% of damage. Ah, oh, that's why it's only one. I think I'm good for now. Surprise! <laughs> Cool. Life link. Oh, that's not good. Life from between you and the target for ninety nine turns. Ooh. 30%? Aw, oh, come on. We will power up regrets. Shelter, camaraderie. That's right. One? No way. Did do one damage. This isn't good. <laughs> this is not good at all. Regrets about to die. Heal up regrets. They're dying. Shit. All right, I'm I'm out of there. 
A vampire is super to duper to tanky. Oh no. Okay. Don't don't you do it. Okay. <laughs> I don't want to fight that vampire dude again. Oh, nice, a shovel. Oh my god. All these dug up coffins. Great, there's two of them now. Hmm. Okay, cool. Why were they taking so? Why were they only taking one damage though? I'll have to. Maybe it was because of those other bats. Yeah, this is much better. This this is more manageable. We can take him out. Nice. As long as, you know, there's no crits shenanigans, Alice and the should survive. One more swift fit and it's dead. If I time it right. Bam. I'm thinking if I should fight that other one. give it a shot if it's with the if it's the same party formation okay maybe I have to kill the the winged apparitions Buff of regrets. Break that limit.
Oh, I hate this. <laughs> it gets to go again. And then do another limit break. Oh, look at you, you're stunned now. Yeah, it was that. Okay. You were learning. Yeah, I was gonna say like if it's not working, I'll I'll go back to a ooh, we can dig. We can dig while moving. Look at that. I'm sure this is fine. Okay, I think I know where we can use those. There was like a swirly little... Well, a swirl on the ground a while back. Maybe that's a digging point. Yes. Uh, hey, uh, can I ask you something? I'm gonna go back because I wasn't sure which was progression. This is progression. I'll make a quick little detour. Well, I'm following you around, right? Michael and Corey were following you too when they were with us earlier. We didn't want to say anything since we didn't want to be rude, but... Uh, why do you occasionally hide in bushes and wince? It's almost as if you're avoiding something. You see ghost-like things? No way, that's just like Adrian. Must be an amnesiac thing, I guess. Do we see them? No, not at all. So it's like you're avoiding something invisible. But it's good to know that they're just apparitions. At least you're not a weirdo or something. Apparitions? Yeah, that's what Adrian calls them. He says he has to defeat them with his emotions, whatever that means. Do you have that too? Wow, if you do, then it must really be the same thing. I guess all the more reason to get you to talk to Adrian more. You may think that you two don't have the same condition, but... This new information here says otherwise. Let's continue going forward. We're actually not too far away from the southern outbound outskirts where Michael, Corey, and I are from. I suspect that's where they're headed. If we don't find them along the way, we'll definitely find them there. Let's go. Okay, but first let's make a quick little detour. I gotta get some shit back, uh, back there. Trying to... There we go. I don't know, see? Okay, I guess it's not. That must be for something else. Okay, so we snuffed out the lights. There's some stairs that, you know, popped up. What do we, what do we got up here? Is 
Is that a boss? <laughs> I don't know. It feels like something I gotta fight. <laughs> what is a what a shocker. Level twelve. Slave. A lot of defense. Minor defense, field quake does basic area damage to the target. Minor replenish. Ooh, this is not look. Poison. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna have to poison slave. Actually, I'll just heal just to be safe. Oh, you son of a bitch. <laughs> you better attack next turn. Oh, never mind. Those, those poisons are gone. Oh, no, it's still there. Nope. I don't think so. Take you out real quick. Yeah. Slap a pal. Yeah, we'll eat her up. <laughs> SP share. Yeah, I can do this twice. Or not. Now let me throw up. I can do two swift hits. That's the plan. And camaraderie for the win. You unlock the new figment. In confronting one of your deepest memories out of your own volition, you've unshackled yourself from your past. Now use a new figment of self. Cool. Hmm. Neat. That was definitely something I wasn't expecting. Oh, 
You can just fight it again. All right. Can I run away? You know what? Now we'll fight it again. <laughs> Get some free EXP. Yeah, because we can do that, uh, too. Area damage, okay. Ah, uh, I didn't even see what the, the timing for that was. Might as well kill it. Oh, okay, it's like swift hit, but it's faster. All right. I'm not as worried this this time around, so, since I know how the battle goes. I think we're at the point where we can just start smacking them around. Oops. That was a little too fast there. And once again, camaraderie for the win. <laughs> Major defense. Ooh. Okay. I'm gonna take a couple steps away from there. Applies major defense to the target for five turns. Selfless men, and I can make one of those because I have an essence of music. Uh, I can make two more life steals, but I'm going to hold off on that. Uh, what else can we do? I'll hold off on that. That increase of skills would be really good for uh, for the slave pigment. So then I could just do the the earthquake, and then it'll do AOE damage, and then just. Only do that. How much is that? I need one more of these. But it's only 10% more damage. So it's, yeah, it's not really worth making it. This is nice. This isn't too bad, even on hard mode. Whoa. Lots of close calls, though.
Use the beach key. I don't have that. I have a farm key. Whatever that's for. <sighs> All right, another vampiric apparition. Is it with the bats? No, it's with the armored. Okay. Got it. Of course you go first because you're fast. And of course, we only do two damage because it's super tanky. That's the beauty of magic strikes. That's four hits right there. Eight damage if I nail all the perfect timings. Oh. When I was alive, my parents never let me follow my dreams. But now that I'm dead, it's all different. I think we were talking about those people. Yes, this one and Bug Fables is another one that is uh, like Paper Mario, and that looks like Paper Mario in terms of like the 2D style, and the uh, combat is like Paper Mario with the timing. You can finally live as a mushroom. Good for you, frog. And finally be a mushroom. Be true to yourself. Hmm. We cannot go any further. I thought I saw something shining in the in the distance. All right, cool. Where do I go now? Oh, there's something sparkling there. Ray gem. Ah, there's the beach key. Well, what do you know? was here the whole time. That's a lot of apples. Now I can really keep the doctors away. Alright, we're... I got a full party. I'm not scared of you anymore, Mr. Level 12. Armstrong Apparition. 94 HP. Piece of garbage. Yeah. Thank god it was just 6 damage. <laughs> I was about to take back what I said. It's fine, I don't care if you heal. 
It ain't gonna matter. Yeah, regret does not mess around. I'm poison you. Man, regret can be such a powerhouse <laughs> when you need it to be. Oh, you poor, poor soul. You got hit with the stun and the swift hit. Ooh, that's double damage right there. I like this mechanic. You stun them, next attack does double damage. Such a good one. Or until, I think it's until their next turn. That's still really good. Really should have gone, like I said, had I known about callousness, I probably would have gone those, the, the manual about stuns. The stun manual. Hey, but now I know for next time. Maybe we'll get another manual. For regarding stuns. New special aspect, Mimicry. You obtain a new special asset, Mimicry. Uh, equip this aspect to one of your figments in the figments menu and it'll be able to use the Mimicry skill. This turns the user into the target, allowing them to use all of their skills. It even works on bosses and your other figments. Don't be afraid to experiment. In the Outbound Ghost, whatever works on regular apparitions also works on boss apparitions. I've always wanted to hear those words. Whatever happens to whatever happens to enemies also happens to bosses. <laughs> what you're saying is status effects are actually going to work, right? Cuz I don't use status status effect moves uh, because they don't really work that well. I don't know why RPGs have that kind of thing where hey, you have this confuse skill, but it only works half the time and like not on bosses or paralysis or poison. Like what's the point of having them if they don't even work? Yeah, I gotta kill these bats. Yeah, I see the little link on there. And you did. And you living. But now you did. You'll be dead soon. Don't let it be your turn next. Get out of here. 
Minor power down. Field, field heal. That's what I'm talking about. Look at that. I got an AoE heal. Applies minor power, minor dispower to the target for four turns. Restores a small amount of a target's HP. It also heals residual damage to the targets around it. Okay, so not really an AoE, but okay, that's fine. Okay, so I'd have to target the second or third party member. So I have to target camaraderie or uh, callousness to get at least three, three of my party members healed up. Whoa! The hell was that? Is that a cowboy? Oh, it's a mushroom. Oh, I hate these things. They're level six. Should be good. That's okay. Because those mushrooms have a... Was it? Poison poke. They like stacking it. And it. Yeah, if it's not with the bats, I'm not gonna buff my my party members. Or I'm not gonna buff regret. How'd I get here? Well, there's only one entrance point and we both smell bad. The same as you. Oh, that's not cool. You gotta bring us down like that, man. Look at that. Look at that scenery. This is a really pretty game. I like it. Gameplay is good too. It feels right. This way. Because I feel like the town there is where we gotta go. You have the beach key. Oh, I don't have a beach key. Oh, that was a bummer, dude. I use it up. Unless there's one down here. An apple. I don't see any other uh, digging spots. Bummer. That's fine. Let's go to town. Let's see what we got in this town. 
<laughs> Something not good. <laughs> if it's doing this. Then it gets worse the further we go. What's inside here? Apple. Oh, look at this. Okay, look at this cute little guy. Oh, look at the gerbil. Yeah, I think it's a gerbil. get up there I think I can get up there uh, it's cuz I feel like there's something up there. I can't move the camera. <laughs> it's... Oh, that's fine. Probably nothing. This right here is concerning, though. Oh. That's a, that's a scary looking vampire apparition. Two hundred twenty six HP. Deals basic damage to the target three times. It also deals residual damage to the target around around it and revives allies on the final hit. It's not good. Basic damage to the target. Deals 10 times the damage if the target's last action was Aether up. Plays minor power for two turns. Twice. Fair revive. Revise a target. Oh my god. <laughs> oh no. What kind of a monster am I dealing with? Okay, I'm just gonna power you down. Buff up regrets. Field Quake. Limit Break. Hmm. You know what? Let me shelter camaraderie. Regret can go three times. Nice. Do this instead. Cool. 
He's still stunned. You know what that means. Can we do this again? Are you gonna bring back your buddies? Yes. Yes, he is. We're good, we're good. 61 HP, we can do this. Bit of a waste, but that's fine. an extra turn. We got enough for one swift hit. Smack. <laughs> oh, nice. Okay. We did it. And we're here. This is Outbound's southern outskirts, my home. Haha, <laughs> yep. My house is actually this one right here. Pretty cool, huh? Anyway, we should get to finding Michael and Adrian. I see Cory over there, but not the others. Hmm. Oh, I know. To go see Frank. He knows everything that goes on around here. Normally hangs out around the community center over there. It's a double building with the blue roof. Let's go. Like I would say, like, there's a lot of houses with, you know, blue roofs. Until I saw the one with brown roof. I was like, oh, you know what? Never mind. Shit. Those bats are super fast. Oh, level 15. It's a lot of the same enemies, but they also they scale and they get new skills as they level up, which is fine. Oh, this one's different though. This one doesn't have the body slam. Boosting blows just three strikes of basic damage to target. Each blow has a 10% chance to apply major power for one turn. So each one. So if by some sort of crazy luck shenanigans, he could have sent, he could, uh, you know, potentially get three major power uh, effects. Wow. Hopefully that doesn't happen, like, at all.
I should probably shelter next turn. Shelter uh, camaraderie. I don't think they can handle that. A move of that kind of, you know, strength. Move of that caliber. Just to be safe. We gotta protect the healer. This swift sh it uh, nope. Okay, camaraderie will be fine. Two. Three. Oops. Yeah, we got this. Big. Pink gems, nice. I need those. I got a lot of them. Maybe we may be dead, but imagine how much worse it could be. We could have been dead without our beautiful outbound gardens. We're so lucky. That's right, pet the doggo. That's the ghost of doggo. All right, Mary, let's let's check out your house. Damn, I was hoping there'd be something there I could loot, but no. A rump. serial killer. They killed me in this very home. They didn't have that pesky hood on. We would know who they are, but no. I've still got a cower in fear. I get chills thinking about it. That's why I wear a scarf. Dang you, Hank. You got nothing here either. I saw something sparkling. Yes! There was something sparkling there. Let me in. Let me in. Oh my god. Oh, what's up, Marty? I can't believe Biff had the audacity to pass into the afterlife. He won't bully any he won't bully me anymore at least, but what a way to find out that he didn't have any baggage that gave him a reason. That's supposed to be a little, not reference, Easter egg, I guess, for Back to the Future, Biff and Marty. I don't know, I'm probably reading too into it. My grandmother is so clumsy. Well, this is her farm and I wanted to take care of it, but she lost the key to the gate. Can't ask her about it either since she's not with us anymore. She did commute to Eris's forest often, though. Maybe she dropped it there. Oh. Do you mean... this farm key? Ah, uh, yeah. Let's dig up some stuff. 
bomb. Dirt. Nables. Oh. Lockpick. A pretty decent haul, I guess. Aspect gem, nice. Ooh, okay, it's a, it's a teleporting thing. Um, like if I get a teleporting skill, I can teleport from here to there, I think. Uh, people always told me that tattoos would stay on you forever, but I didn't think that would include death as well. I feel that'd be pretty rad. Especially if you have a pretty sweet tattoo. It stays with you. Forever. And they really mean forever. What's up here? Ooh. Lock picks. Nice. This game has some really relaxing uh, music. Which is good and bad. Good because it's really nice. Bad because it made me feel sleepy because I'm so relaxed. Oh, it's, oh, okay, cool, save point. Dead or alive, nothing beats smithin'. Ooh, okay, Aether Chronicles 1. Uh, start battles with 1 AP. Oh, that'd be nice. Increases max AP by 1, reduces power and healing by 25%. Risk reward two increases AP by three, but reduces power, defense, and healing to zero. Hmm. All buffs and debuffs applied to the user are applied twice. Oh, that will be really good. I mean, sure, the there's the debuffs that are applied twice, but. I can apply buffs twice. I won't have to. Minor power. Often. You know what? Risk reward too. Being a little risky. Could it be? Air is tastier as a ghost? What, you wanna buy stuff? I'm not selling anything. I already worked myself to death once. Why am I at my trading post, then? Uh... Well, it's not like I have anywhere better to be. Hey, it's my Mary. It's been a while, kiddo. Oh, and, uh, what is this that accompanies you? This is Sapphire. I crossed paths while I was exploring the forest with Michael. I see. And Sapphire, you're not from Outbound, are you? I don't recognize you, and I know everyone from around these parts. Where are you from? Excuse me, what? I don't remember where you're from. Sapphire's an amnesiac, just like Adrian. You mean, there are more amnesiacs? Yep, let me explain. So yeah, we were trying to get Adrian and Sapphire to talk. Adrian ran away though, so that's kind of a problem. And I know that Sapphire doesn't have the same kind of amnesia as Adrian, but it has to be some connection. Oh, so that's why Michael and Adrian were on a wild goose chase. 
seen Adrian around here? I have, but, uh, can I talk to you a moment? Sure. Is this sapphire to be trusted? Oh god, Michael got to him. <laughs> they're not from around here, and what if they're lying? What if this amnesia narrative is faked to get close to us? Not the same kind of amnesia as Adrian, so it's not out of the question. Or he could just be very, you know, uh, wary. How could he say that? As outbounders, we're supposed to be kind-hearted and welcoming. Seriously, why can't we accept outsiders? Mary, but all I'm trying to do is... Frank, my man. Oh, hey there, Jerry. Do you need anything? Well, we run into a slight issue at the tavern. Oh? Well, Shirley's locked herself in the tavern again. Oh, no. Sorry, Mary, I've really got to deal with this. Hmm. Sorry, Sapphire, I hope you'll excuse me, but... We can talk later. Gotta help my granddaughter. Ugh, I'm so sorry, Sapphire. I realize that it's unfair to ask you this, but... You think we could help out Frank? I know he's skeptical of you, but I think it's our only way forward. Maybe if he sees more of you, he'll loosen up and tell us where Adrian went. Anyways, the tavern's on the eastmost side of the village. There's no harm in staying around here a bit, but I think we should help out. The sooner this is resolved, the sooner you'll regain your memories. Alright, let me pick up some stuff here, because... Yeah, there's stuff here. Uh, when I was young, I used to play with my friends around Strand Beach. Rich people with villas over there weren't too happy about that. <laughs> we turned it into our own fun, though. Funny. We pretended they were vampires to run away. Ah, those were the days. And now there's actually vampires there. Who the... Who the thunk? My poor Biff. He loved playing here so much when he was a baby. Well, I'm at least glad that he had no burden that bound him here. Dang, the serial killer really scared the thief the thief guild away, huh? Used to be all over Eris Forest, but not so much anymore. If only I was still alive. My shipping business would be booming. Ah, uh, what's up here? Both life and death, lakes bring me joy. That's cool, Dahlia. Hey, uh, can I pet you? Thanks, I appreciate it. Whoa. I've always pet stuff, but I was never the... The petted one. Feels weird. Cisco, man, this place is rad. So rad. <laughs> that was a lot of A's. All right. <laughs> oh, this game is so charming. there. What's in here? I think this is the last house we haven't checked. Luckily, I was killed outside of my house, so the serial killer didn't trash it. Now I get to chill out here instead of clean up like many others. And hey, it's my birthday too. Death's treating me pretty well. <laughs> Happy birthday, Tedub. Way to look on the bright side.
Hiding in wheat gives me comfort. Cool. What's here? Apple. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff we can potentially make. I need one water droplet, though. I need at least one respite. Increase uh, AP by three, but reduces power, defense, and healing to zero. I don't know how I would. Hmm. Maybe if we get another party member. Selfless many. Reduce power to zero, but increase healing by 50%. I can give that to camaraderie. Camaraderie doesn't really attack. It's more of a support, so this would probably be good for them. Healing by 50%, but healing skills heal the user as much as the target. Um, I guess if I heal someone, I'll whoever see like camaraderie heal someone, camaraderie will also get healed. But I have the uh, the field heal, so I don't really need that. Selfless mending will probably help out. An extra 15% for heals would definitely help out. Beast damage is 20%. Uh, Stubborn Swinger. That would actually be good for uh, callousness. He doesn't really... They don't really have any skills that do damage. Up. Yeah, I'll get that. And that. I just need one respite for the status freak. We can give slave mimicry. We'll see how that works. I think it's a good stopping point. Yeah, it's a good stopping point for today. Tomorrow we'll play more. I plan on. If I didn't stream it today, I planned on streaming it tomorrow. Uh, well, I'm definitely enjoying this game. This is this is really this is really fun. It's charming too. Uh, let's see. Uh, okay, we got Zod with Resident Evil Two. I don't know if he's going to keep playing or not. Uh, Jordy Boy is playing Hades. And I don't know if he's going to be finishing soon or not. Uh, it doesn't look like it, though. Let's go with, uh, go with Jordy Boy. Oops. Quick. All right. But, thanks guys for hanging out, I appreciate it. Uh, I will definitely be streaming more of this tomorrow. Uh, for sure. Very excited to see uh, what what's happening next 
because we know nothing about this serial killer other than he's you know a serial killer uh and he was has a hood on <laughs> but uh we'll, we'll 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 see if we find get any more information on that but thank you guys for hanging out i appreciate it i hope you guys have a great rest of your day uh weekend in case i don't see you i'll catch you on the next stream take care <laughs>